If you are a beginner and you want to learn how to knit, you are in the right place. I'm going to show you the first steps in order to knit. So what you need is some yarn and some needles. I have two different kinds of needles, straight needles or circular needles. I prefer circular needles because you can buy a whole set and you can get it for like 60% off and it's a lot cheaper than buying all of these straight needles and it's a lot easier in my opinion. But I'm going to first show you how to start with straight needles because I think that's where beginners usually start. And then at the end of the video, I will show you how to do this with circular needles. So what we first need to do is how do we start using the yarn? Well, you want to pull through the center of your yarn, not on the outside or your ball is going to roll around everywhere and get dirty. See, so we don't want to pull this one. We are going to pull through here and sometimes it's hard to find the end. I think this one's gonna be hard. Oh, and here it is, right here. So I'm just gonna leave that out and then I will start knitting. Here's another example of how to find the yarn. Now we are going to make a slip knot to do our long tail cast on. So depending on how many you have to cast on is how long you need your tail to be. And then you're going to make a slip knot so this is how I hold my yarn. I put my index finger and thumb just right there. I twist the yarn and I'm going to grab the yarn that's underneath and I just pull it. And then it makes a slip knot. And then with one of your needles, you're going to tighten it onto your needle, just like that. Pretty easy, right? When you cast on, you want your tail to be in the front and then you're working yarn where your ball is to be in the back. And this is the trickiest part but I promise it's easy. You'll get the hang of it. So this is how I hold my yarn just like that. You're gonna have to pull your tail and your working yarn apart from one another. So again with your thumb and your index finger and you're gonna hold your two strands with these three fingers. You're just gonna pull apart just like that. Now with your needle, you're going to come around here, pick up this yarn, bring your needle all the way to the back and over this yarn, and then you're going to go underneath both of those, and then you tighten it. Don't tighten it too tight, though. You also don't want it too loose, okay? We do it again. Spread them out. Come over to the front and pick that yarn up. Go all the way to the back and go under both strands and then pull. And look at you, you're casting on. So again, slow, pick it up, go all the way to the back, and I'm going to go under this one and under that one, and pull. Now, let's say you're done casting on, you're going to turn your work over, and you see these bumps? This is the wrong side, and this is the right side. Anyways, so here's your wrong side. With your first project, you'll probably do garter stitch. For garter stitch, you just knit every single row. The right side row and the wrong side row. We're on the wrong side row. With your other needle, you're going to go from the front to the back. And then with your working yarn, this is how I hold my yarn. I just kind of twist it on my pinky. And then I have it on top of my pointer finger and then I bring the yarn around and then you slide it off. Let's do it again. Front to back with my yarn which I'm holding like this. Bring it around your right hand needle counterclockwise and then you're going to bring your needle in the front and keeping that loop and then you pull it off. Let's do it again. Front 
into the back, bring your yarn around, come down and up and slide it off. The first project I ever made was a scarf. Pretty easy, as well as blankets or a cowl if you're wanting to learn how to um, knit in the round. And that's it, I just finished that row. So my next step is to turn my work over and start knitting. So I put my needle front to the back, bring my yarn around, and start another row. Now you know how to knit. The next step is to learn how to purl. To use circular needles, we have our long tail. We do our little slip knot. And then put our needle through and tighten it. And we cast on the same way we did with our straight needles. All right, now we turn our work over. We're on the wrong side. And just the same thing. I love these because you can knit in the round or you can knit flat. You can also use these as in replace of double pointed needles, which those get expensive. <sighs> They're just the best. I have a link underneath so you can buy the same ones that I have. So we turn our work over and put our needle from the front to the back and we knit just like straight needles but if you're doing a really long project like a blanket these cable needles are just a lifesaver to stock knit stitch so the stock knit stitch is where you knit on the right side and you purl on the wrong side